Well, you know, we are, the government is obviously trying to support the growth process in the economy. Uh, that means everything that we are doing to promote growth is going to help remove poverty. Certainly, we're trying to improve access to education. We're trying to give people much better access to health services. I mean, uh, health is a key element in human welfare. So poverty is not just to be defined in terms of income earning possibilities. It's also access to essential services like health, electrification, rural areas, uh, clean drinking water, sanitation. These kinds of things are a very important part of uh, the effort to remove poverty, and the government's involved in all of them. I mean, the central government does some things, state governments do some things. And is the health se sector uh, being looked at in the private uh, sector or public? Well, both. I mean, you know, and every country has a public sector and a private sector. I think the Indian uh, problem is that most people believe, and I think this is correct, India spends about the same proportion on health that other countries do. But the government spends much less and much more expenditure is being done on the private sector. So uh, our feeling is that government needs to do much more uh, in order to strengthen health services. And that's why we've launched a national rural health mission, for example. Uh, that's why we've launched a, a Rashtriya Swast Bhima Yojana, which is a government subsidized insurance scheme that enables poor people uh, to go for hospital treatment. You know, when one says government expenditure, government can either spend by building its own hospitals or it can f subsidize insurance that allows people to choose whatever hospital they like. So I would count, uh, uh, whenever the government subsidizes um, uh, a health insurance system, that should be treated as part of health expenditure. <laughs>